misremembering that. I know Dave can answer that better, I think, but I think Dave. But and Mary at, at the very least, husband. Dave and Mary, yeah. uh, Dave Gator, lead writer, and Mary Kirby, um, who is kind of like the lore expert, um, designed the vast majority of the Elven and Canary mm -hmm. languages, and to a lesser extent, the Dwarven and Old Tevinter. Um, they're never complete. Uh, the the way I like to think of it, um, I have I have I've done very little on those languages, but like for own, my own novel writing stuff at home, I think that is this isn't a language you could ever use for stereo instructions. Um, <laughs> it's a language that has enough interesting words like here's hatred and here's sadness and here's going to, and you can put them together to it's like I am angrily going to a place of sadness. Good, that word plus that word plus that word. So it's sort of a, it's the the idea of it is to be like a half language. Um, but that said, in order for us to have consistency, every time a writer comes up with a new, uh, you know, unique word, it goes into a wiki listing that we, so we have a wiki that has, here's what we've got so far. Um, it has a lot of the initial, it has a lot of like the, the word lit little bits that says this word generally means going someplace or this word means to guide, but the verb to guide somewhere. This one is a guide, like a person who is a guide. Um, and then as well as, here are some common phrases we've used in the game. So if you want to use these again, it's awesome. It makes it look like we know what we're doing. <laughs> <laughs> and we take that glossary and we, um, we have to sort of farm it around our different languages and make sure that none of the things that we come up with are really horrific things in other languages. Um, or actually in, in, in even languages beyond what we localize in. So if it's something really horrible in Swahili or Arabic or whatever. Sure. Um, if you had Iron Bull talk about sex toys in the That's totally language, okay. But yeah, for example. yeah, you gotta make sure that you check all that stuff. So we have an active sort of a, I like call it a living um, glossary that we update constantly um, and use. And it's generally pretty uh, consistent across languages.